For this tutorial, you'll need your selected yarns. I'm using Paintbox Simply Aran, and I shall leave the name of the colours in the description box below. You'll need your corresponding crochet hook because I'm using this one, I'm going to be using a 5mm, but check your yarn band to see which. Um, size hook it suggests. You will also need a pair of scissors and a darning needle to sort out your ends. Before we get started don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my tutorials and click that bell button to be notified of when my new videos go live. So first of all I'm going to show you how to do the bunting itself, so these little triangles here. You can obviously choose whichever colours you want. I'm doing a festive inspired bunting so I've chosen these colours, but you could do like a springtime one or whichever you please. So grab your first colour and let's get started with the bunting. So you want to begin by creating your slip knot and you can do this whichever way you prefer. You're going to be sewing in this end, so leave a good few inches so that you can get your needle on there. Insert your hook and you want to start by chaining two. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. You're then going to do three treble crochets into the second chain from the hook. So remember I'm talking in UK terms. In the US this is known as double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the second chain on the hook, so it would be the first one that you created. Yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook, and then yarn over, pull through the first two loops, you'll have two loops on the hook, and yarn over, pull through those two loops. So that's the first one. We'll go ahead and do the second one. Two, and then the third one. three. So that is your first row of stitches done. We're then going to chain three, one, two, three, that's going to class as a treble. Turn our work and then do a treble crochet into the base of this chain three just here. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. We're then going to find our next stitch and do a treble crochet into there. So same as before. And then slightly more tricky to find, but we're going to find our third treble crochet from the last row um, and do it into there. So we're just going to insert our hook into this section just here. So yarn over, insert into there, and then go ahead and do your treble. So that's our first one into that stitch, we're going to do another one into that stitch as well. And that is our row two. We're then going to chain three, one, two, three, turn our work and do one treble into the base of this chain three. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then we're going to do a treble into the next three stitches. So here's our first one, one, our second, two, and then our third, three. So the last two stitches are going to go into the chain three from the previous row. So this one's a little bit more tricky to find. You could go into the chain space if you wanted to. I prefer to go into the actual chain itself because I think it makes the stitches look a bit more stable. So when you're looking at this chain three, you get one at the top which looks a little bit bigger. Um, you could go into there if you want to. Um, or you could go into the one just above. So this one you might just need to pull apart slightly um, in order to get in there. But it's just as easy to go into this one. And to be honest, it doesn't make a huge amount of difference. So you can go ahead and go in there if you want to, or go into the one just above. So that's our first treble and our second treble. You then want to go ahead and chain one. Grab your scissors and snip off your yarn and pull that out. 
So there we have our bunting, which is just super cute. You want to take your darning needle and thread that very first end. So as you're looking at your bunting, you will see that you have a tiny little gap at the bottom. You have a small thread just here and then this is where we started our stitches. I would go up the same size side as this small thread and it just kind of um, brings the bunting into a little bit of a better shape. So you pull it up and then you can just adjust it like that and it just makes it into a bit more of a point. Obviously you can come back down with this thread as well in order to secure it. I'll leave a link to a video all about sewing in your ends and the rule of three. So I'll leave that in the uh, frame here or I'll leave it in the description box below. But you want to go back the other way in order to make it nice and secure. And then you can go ahead and snip off that end. And then you also want to sew in the other end and make as many of these triangles as you desire. So now we're going to make the ribbon for the bunting and again you want to start off by making a slip knot. Insert your hook and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What you want to do here is slip stitch into the sixth chain from the hook, which is our very first chain. So insert the hook, grab the yarn and pull it through for a slip stitch. And this just creates a little um, circle so this can be to hook onto things. So you don't have to do that section if you don't want to, but if you want it to have a little hook either side, then please go ahead and do that. Now we're going to chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <clears throat> now, what we want to do is take our very first bunting. So, you just want to bring it across here. And we're going to double crochet into each of these chain spaces. So, this is the very first one just here. So remember, I'm talking in UK terms, a double crochet in the US is known as a single crochet. So go ahead and insert your hook into that very first chain space. Pull on your yarn so it's nice and tight. Grab the yarn and pull it through. You'll have two loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops on the hook. So that is our first stitch. Go ahead in and go into that next chain space. Grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Into the next space, double crochet, the next, double crochet, again, and then into the very last one. We're now going to go ahead and chain four. One, two, three, and four. Grab your next colour and do exactly the same thing. So double crochet, double crochet, and then just go all the way along. And then you want to chain four again. One, two, three, four, and repeat until you have crocheted on all of your bunting. So I'm going to do the rest of mine and then meet you at the end to show you how to finish off. So I have now crocheted on all of my bunting. I have just done the last one. Now what I'm going to do is chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then going to do an additional six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I'm going to do um, a slip stitch into the sixth chain from the hook. Now I've just held my fingers there, so I know that it's this one. 
but um, if you haven't then just count backwards and then do a slip stitch into that chain. Chain one, grab your scissors and snip off your yarn. Pull out your hook and then pull that tight. Then all that's left to do is to sew in the ends from the beginning and the end and there is your crochet bunting. So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share on Facebook, Instagram, all of your creations. Um, tag me and let me know that you've created this. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.